on the 25th of October 2022, there's going to be a partial solar eclipse, and that's going to be observable in Europe, Africa, and Asia. So here is a visualization of where it's going to be visible. So here you can see it starts out over Europe, and then it will move across more towards Asia, and obviously get the top half or top part of Africa as well. So it's going to, going to be a partial solar eclipse. It's not going to be a full solar eclipse. The contour lines here show the percentage of the sun that's actually going to get obstructed by the moon when the moon passes in between the Earth and the sun. So you can see that kind of over towards the west part of Europe, you're not going to get much of the sun obstructed at all, whereas the best parts are actually going to be further over Asia and over Russia. So if you are in London or the UK, which is kind of where I am, then you're not going to see much of the sun be obstructed by the moon. So in, in London, it's going to be about 15 percent and that'll occur around about 11 o'clock in the morning, which is in the local time. And the times I'll give for the other places will be in lo their local time anyway. If you go a little bit further north in the UK, so I'm a bit further north than London, then you'll have a higher percentage of this sun actually covered by the moon. So it'll be greater than 15%. And I think it's up to about 30 something percent if you go further north in the UK. So that's for London. You're not going to get much of the sun obstructed that way. It's not going to go particularly dark, for example. Uh, if you go a bit further east towards Istanbul, which is kind of in the middle, really, then you're going to get almost 40% of the sun is going to be covered by the moon as it passes in front. And that'll happen around about two o'clock in the afternoon. Again, that's going to be the local time for that particular location. And if you go a little bit further east again to where the best place is going to be, so places in Russia, you're going to get approximately 80% of the sun covered by the moon as it passes at its maximum. So you will get a noticeable dip in basically how bright it appears or how dim it actually gets as that moon passes in front of the sun. And in those locations there, it's going to happen at a, a later time, more in a local time. So about four o'clock in the afternoon, locally, you're going to get about 80% of the sun obstructed there. So the best locations really are a bit further east away from Europe. But in Europe, most of Europe, apart from the lower parts of Spain and Portugal, then you will be able to pick out some of this partial solar eclipse. Now, how best to actually view it? Because you don't really want to go looking directly at the sun. You want to have a, a much better way of doing that so you don't damage your eyes. You can't just go looking at the sun to see this. So one method which you can all probably have a go at is if you've got a colander or a drainer like this, then if you hold it up to the sun and the sun will basically shine through the holes and then it'll project it onto the ground or some paper or something and you'll get a silhouette of the sun and you'll see the moon kind of passing over and basically creating a shadow and changing the shape of that. And it works in the same way as like a pinhole camera. So the other way to do it is you get a bit of paper, make a very small hole in it and you project it onto the floor and again you'll get like a, an outline of the sun and then you'll see the moon passing over basically you'll see the kind of the bit obstructed by the moon as it's passing so you, anyone can kind of do those and it doesn't require looking at the sun and damaging your eyes which you shouldn't be doing and if you've got a telescope you can also get a solar filter so if you haven't got one you can go get one and then you just go on the end of the telescope but you where the light actually comes in and then you can point it at the sun and then you can watch this in a bit more detail. So you'd see something like that on the right hand side. So you get to see quite a detailed image of the sun as the moon then passed over. But again, you shouldn't be looking at the sun with the telescope without this filter on. And be very careful when you kind of align it. So don't use your finder scope either on the top in case that does any damage to your eyes. So, And using the same filter paper as one you would put on your telescope, you can use solar eclipse glasses, which are fairly cheap to pick up, and then you can just look directly at the sun and see this partial solar eclipse. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoy, then check out some of the other videos.